Hello my lovelies! Today we are doing a hairstyle called the breaker bun. Um, I'm calling it the breaker bun because it kind of reminds me of ocean waves a little bit. Um, it was definitely sea inspired and uh, you know waves break or also known as breakers and I like alliteration so any who knows. Uh, all you're gonna need are a couple of pins um, well, you might need more than a couple, but two types of pins, the little bobbies, and then uh, I like these big ones, curler pins, and uh, you're going to need hairspray today. I know, I know, I really try to not use hairspray, and this can totally be done without hairspray, especially if you do not have bangs, but I'm going to have to spray mine into submission. Um, also, since we're going to do two little victory rolls, mine work better with hairspray. Uh, this is my favorite hairspray. It is uh, Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco. Um, let me get it up there. There we go. Um, I really like this stuff because it will actually brush out. The biggest reason that I don't use hairspray normally is because you have to wash your hair to get all the product and crunchy growth out of it and this does not leave it that way. You can brush it out for the most part so my favorite hairspray all right so what we want to do is a side part um mine is parted that's probably going to be good so i'll just leave it side part um <laughs> and you want to pull just right here in the front uh when i pull my hair back you see where it looks thinner hmm? so that's where we're going for <laughs> just right there. I mean, it is not a whole lot at all. Um, only that much, which we are going to, where's my thing? Clip it in the front just to keep it out of the rest. Um, just so this will pin the way I want it, I'm going to brush the rest of this back because we will do the bun second. Well, we'll complete the bun second, is what I should say. We are going to go ahead and cinnabon this up and pin pin it with the tail out. Uh, just so you can see, I'm twisting. Twisting, twisting. I like to probably just smack you. I like <laughs> twisting a good bit of it first. Um, and then roll around. I'm going to add a pin because I want this to be a nice, fairly flat Cinnabon. So I'm just going to add a pin right there. And that should be it. Yep. So you see we're Cinnabon out and then I'm going to pin it up here. Just leave for now. Mm. Sorry, guys, I got hair in my mouth. Um, and then we'll come back to it. So, the front, I'm doing two victory rolls. So, what I'm going to do is take it kind of a top to bottom deal. Want them to be pretty even. Those feel even. They feel pretty even. Okay, so. Top roll first. Um, the way I victory roll, I'm hoping that you can see all the way down to the bottoms. Almost! That's why we're this way. Um, I usually start by just rolling up this way to start with. And then, insert a finger here, and insert one here, and then continue rolling. Like so. Over, 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 over. Um, I like my rolls to kind of go out and then in, so like so, looks okay. I'm going to use the smaller bo bobbies for this because these are smaller rolls. And then I pin one in the front and one in the back. 
There we go. Pretty decent. Um, and I'm going to do a second one, exactly the same. Starting at the bottom, um, I usually do use two fingers just so I have a big enough center to insert. There we go. My fingers in for rolling and then I roll up. This does take a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> Victory rolls are not the easiest thing in the world for me. And there we go. And two more pins. Now, I know my things look slightly crazy, but that's what the hairspray is for. And I want these pinned right next to one another. And you can't see my roll in the front, but again, we'll get that with hairspray. So I'm just going to take my bangs, tuck them up. Under spray into submission. That's done. Now this portion. So what we're going to do is we're going to make four basically rolls. Um, this will be our first one. Just smoothen a little bit, and then it's basically. Uh, Kind of a sideways victory roll. Let's see. Let's get it started. Hold, but since it's nice and short, we can just roll it this way instead of having to use, you know, our, our two fingers to do it. All right. In. Now I'm using the big ones for these because they are going to pin back into the bun underneath. So we don't have to worry about using, you know, the really um, short ones. Next roll. Just want to get it started. Your little loop, like so. Where you want it. Pin. Our final one, just the same. We're just keep doing the same thing over and over. If you would like more of these uh, little rolls, then make more. I think four is a good number, uh, though I'm sure five or six would be equally cool. Mix up a little bit. I'm gonna hit that with hairspray. I didn't figure you wanted to watch hairspray, but uh, there we go. That's that's it. It's got a slightly retro deal going on. Let's see, I'll put some in the back. Um, yeah, see, it's like shell. You know, you got your your Nautilus shell pattern, the spiral, um, and then this I think looks like the crest of a wave, right? Maybe just in my brain, I don't know. Um, but uh, then you've got the little loopies in the front, which kind of gives you a little tiara deal going. Um, you do not have to do these victory rolls. If you don't want to, just pull it all back and go from there. It's equally as pretty, or you can do a little poof, or it all depends on the feel you're going for. But um, yeah, there we go. And I did use some hairspray, but not a ton. More on this, if you don't want to use hairspray, then don't. You do not have to. Um, but if you do, I like this stuff. All right. So that's it. It was a nice, easy one today. Um, we will, it is September, so we will be doing some fun stuff. I had a request on um, from my friend Lizzie on how to incorporate little mini wreaths. Um, and she's very fond of the autumn ones, so I will be off to Michael's. It'll probably be the beginning of October that we do that one. Um, we're gonna, 
I'm going to fiddle around and see if I can't find something fun that we can incorporate a wreath into our hair because you know I love to put stuff in my hair. And uh, we'll also do um, in the month of October a couple of more interesting hairstyles. Um, novelty perhaps. Uh, we'll see. Uh, because I have all kinds of really cool stuff to shove in there. I have like little crows and an owl and skulls and a pumpkin. Yeah, I like Halloween, y'all. So, um, that will be coming up. Um, and, uh, yeah, there is no ands. I'll take care of that some other time. Okay, uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, hairstyle. And as always, if you try it, please, please, please tag me on Twitter or um, Instagram or Facebook if you are one of my people over there or Snapchat. You guys, I Snapchat. I'm under Torn Page. <laughs> um, although I will say on my Snapchat, usually what you get is the dogs or me making stupid faces. So, you know, but, uh, you know, feel free to, I'll follow you back or whatever you're supposed to do. I don't know. I've Snapchatted for years, but like with three people and we just send stupid pictures back and forth to each other. But, um, any handles. Okay. Until next time. Have a great day, my lovelies. I love you guys. Bye.